Good morning, folks. We've got looks at the sun, a big storm, a big earthquake, the much expected Bepi Colombo mission, and a look back at some of the cycles we know embedded in the geology from half a billion years ago. Let's start with our star, and we find the last 24 hours was very calm, still not much in the way of solar flares. A few filaments snap, but nothing is aimed our way. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are calm for now, but we have enhancements expected. The sunspot situation still merits a close eye. Two big and relatively complex groupings incoming on the south. We expect coronal hole driven solar wind disruptions to arrive shortly and we will continue to monitor the plasma filaments and those sunspot active regions. Right now, things are relatively calm. Top quake of the last day was a blood echo that struck the Philippines. It was over 100 kilometers deep at the low velocity zone or else the surface shaking would have been higher, hopefully not a foreshock. If you didn't hear about the major storm system that ripped through the southeast yesterday, it brought major hail, tornadoes, and quite a bit of lightning as you can see here with that overlay added. It was some serious cell development. Folks, the Bepi Colombo mission is doing its third Mercury flyby here soon on its way to being captured into scientific observational orbit. That isn't expected for two more years, but when it happens, we'll finally get a good chance to compare the magnetic field of Mercury with that which Messenger saw several years ago. It'll be a critical time in tracking the solar system shift. Lastly, on the article front, they detected several cycles during the Ordovician period nearly half a billion years ago, and two of those are the 1500-year dansgaard oeschger cycle and the 2400-year Haustat solar cycle. Both of those build up to hit exactly 12,000 years in 8 and 5 cycles respectively, and it is amazing to see how the cycles we are tracking on Earth today were also present that long ago in the geologic record. Don't forget to grab your tickets for our June 24th Observer event at Observer Ranch. Hope to see you out there. And the next issue of our e-magazine is due out within about 24 hours. It's the best way to support the observers. It runs down the best stories of the last month, puts them into context. The e-magazine, event tickets, and other resources can be found at the links below in the description box. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.